Time to check out the New York Post weekly NFL power rankings delivered to you by New York Post NFL reporter Ryan Dunleavy. Ryan joins me now to break it all down. Ryan, how's it going? Good, Dex. How are you? I'm doing well. Always glad to talk about some power rankings with you, you know, which people take very seriously where their teams are positioned. Now, Ryan, we talked about this on Sunday, but Big Blue's performance against the Seahawks only turned up the volume of those skeptical about the Giants' 6-2 and two start. However, this week they only dropped one spot from 6-7. to seven. Are the G-Men a legit top-10 team through eight weeks? Yeah, but that has as much to do with how, you know, the Packers not – reaching expectations the Bucks, the Rams the 49ers look Dex overall body of work Giants have two wins over uh teams that I have in my top 10 in the power rankings two teams that have five five or more wins the Titans and the Ravens there's just not a lot of teams in today's NFL right now with how all the contenders that are down that can match the Giants overall resume whether you're a believer or not yeah the skeptics are still going to be the skeptics but they do have those wins, and even the Seahawks, who were a bit ahead of them, they got a win. So that looks like a quality. Uh, even though it wasn't a win, it was a loss for them. They played another quality opponent. So we shall see there. Now, the New York Jets, they had the, one of the largest drops in your power rankings this week, falling from six spots, from 9 to 15. They got the Bills coming up on Sunday. Will Gang Green get back into the top 10 again this season? Uh, maybe later in the season. It ain't going to be this week. They won't They won't fall much for losing to the Bills. You could make a case. I waffle back and forth each week, Dex, with whether I want to put the Bills at one or the undefeated Eagles at one. I've stuck with the Eagles so far. You can make a strong case for the Bills. Uh, the Jets won't lose much for uh, – won't fall much for losing to the Bills. But, yeah, I think they, there's a chance they could be back in – uh, the top 10 later in the season, like, uh, you know, they, the Dolphins, I think I have at 10 right now, Patriots at 13, and they'll get a second shot at both of those teams later on. All right, we'll see if the Jets can jump up once again. Now, some of the biggest jumps talking about that upward this week came from the Pats, who you mentioned, they went from 20 to 14, and the Seahawks, who I talked about earlier, they went from 12 to 6. So which of these teams do you think has the best shot to make the postseason? I would, th I would definitely think it's the Seahawks out of those two teams. The AFC is more loaded. The contenders we thought would be good in the AFC are good. The NFC, you, somebody's taking the spot that was belonged to the Packers. Somebody might take the spot that belonged to the Bucs. I think in the end, you'll have two teams out of the NFC West, two out of the three between the 49ers, the Rams, and the Seahawks. And right now, I why can't it be the Seahawks? Why can't it be Geno Smith playing at M MVP level? The McCaffrey trade certainly boosted the 49ers, but the Rams still look lost. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if they can do it. Seahawks have looked really good. Why can it not be them? Uh, in your power rankings, there have been some squads, specifically in the NFC, that have been on a downward trend. The Rams, the Bucks. The Packers, you mentioned all of these teams. Which of these teams are you the most concerned about in terms of not making the playoffs? Oh, it's definitely the Packers. I mean, they're already three games out of their division. The Vikings look legitimate. You know, the Buccaneers could still win the NFC South. There's no one scared of the Falcons. The uh, Rams could get hot for a month and win the NFC West because the Seahawks and Rams have uh, Seahawks and 49ers haven't pulled away. The Packers could get hot and not catch the Vikings. I mean, that's just is what it is. Like, v Packers are in a lot of trouble. November 1st today, I'd say the Packers, who are my NFC champion uh, preseason pick, I say they don't even make the playoffs. Ooh, wow. Not looking good there with that pick, Ryan. But, you know. We make picks. Sometimes they work out. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes the power rankings work out. Sometimes they don't. Check out Ryan Dunleavy's power rankings at NewYorkPost.com. Ryan, I hope the Jets fans weren't in your mentions too much about their drop uh, this week. Uh, power rankings always get mentions. Thanks, they, Thanks they, for having me. They're always getting the mentions. Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate it, man.